Over to Barcelona, Spain, where tech companies from around the world are unveiling their latest gadgets. Korea's tech giants are there, too, getting plenty of the spotlight with their highly anticipated new devices. Our Kim Min-ji is there and filed this report. The Mobile World Congress 2017 has finally kicked off here in Barcelona. This year's theme is the next element, and discussions will be held on related topics from 5G innovation, virtual reality, to the Internet of Things. Now, the annual event is also an arena for the world's tech giants to unveil their latest gadgets, and Korean companies didn't miss out on the opportunity. Maximizing the immersion experience for the user. That's what LG Electronics is promoting with its new G6 smartphone, which was unveiled ahead of the Mobile World Congress 2017 in Barcelona. Smartphone customers want a device that offers innovation, but also get the essential fundamentals right. There has to be a balance between the core elements and new technologies. The G6 focuses on the basic wants of the consumer. It's got a bigger screen, but one that still fits into your hand. The full vision display is the biggest screen offered by a phone this size on the market. It has a display ratio of 18 by 9 instead of the conventional 16 by 9, which LG says is the optimal option for a bigger screen in a small body. The smartphone also comes with Google Assistant, which allows users to operate the phone through voice commands. The G6 also has dual cameras on its rear side, allowing pictures to be taken at a wider angle. LG has uh, done some great uh, work with, with this uh, phone. Uh, it's uh, an improved product from G5. Uh, it's, it has a stunning camera, uh, stunning display. But it remains to be seen whether the device will give LG's struggling mobile division a much-needed shot in the arm and make up for the G5 flop. LG is well-positioned at the moment, as local rival Samsung Electronics decided to delay the unveiling of its flagship Galaxy S8. It instead took the opportunity to unveil two new tablets, the Galaxy Tab S3 and the Samsung Book. Both have upgraded specs, which include a sophisticated S Pen function, as well as a Super AMOLED display for brighter and richer colors. The tablet of today should be versatile and a product that allows you to do whatever you want, whenever you want, wherever you want. The S8 was put off due to the Note 7 debacle. Instead, Samsung showed off a brief teaser. I think it will be edgeless, so it will be uh, a screen all over with just some slightly uh, little edges on the top and on the bottom, and that's it, and more we don't know. But Samsung has to show something really, really, really good to make up for the faults they made with the Note 7. The much-awaited flagship smartphone will be unveiled in New York on March 29. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News, Barcelona.